So what is Rollcat's Easy Shift technology? Well, it's actually a button and it lets you use your keyboard keys and your mouse buttons for two functions instead of just one. So here's a demonstration. I'm going to open a Windows File Explorer and the scroll wheel moves everything up and down. My secondary function on Easy Shift, when I hold the button down here, controls the volume. So it controls two things. Without Easy Shift, the regular function, but with Easy Shift, I made it so that it controls the volume. Now, if we look over here, I have my top three mouse buttons set to control my media player. The left mouse click does this normally, and the right mouse click does this normally. But in Easy Shift, when I hold this, and it's blue, I press the middle button for play, the middle button for pause, and I can go previous with the left, and I can go next with the right. And I can pause again by clicking the middle. And when I release the Easy Shift button, it works normally. That's what you can do with the mouse. So here's a gaming keyboard, the TKL Pro. This also has Easy Shift. Now you activate the key by turning on game mode. So I'm gonna turn on game mode now. And the key for this is the caps lock. If you hold it down, you see this button blinking and that's how you activate the secondary key. And I set it just to show you uh, to do E volume up and Q volume down. Now, if you just press E and Q, it doesn't do anything. It's regular E and Q. But if you do easy shift, you can do volume control using that. Now, easy shift can be set for any key on the left-hand side of your keyboard from the number five on to the left. To set your easy shift keys, you have to use Rollcat Swarm. Now, here's the keyboard, the TKL Pro. And if I want to change that to volume up, I can go to multimedia and here's volume up and I just drag it over and now it's set to volume up for easy shift. If I want to change this to volume down, I'll go to multimedia, drag volume down, apply and it's done. So now I can go to easy shift, which is the caps lock and go down, volume down there and I can go volume up with the E like that. Now let's say you're playing a game like CSGO and you want to change this R to do something else. So uh, they already have some set macros, which is great. If you go to the macro manager over here, you can see a whole bunch of presets. They have Mass Effect, they have Minecraft, but for now we'll go to CSGO. Now let's say that we want to use this drop weapon, okay? We know that there's Counter-Strike, let's cancel out. You have to go to the preset collection. So let's go find Counter-Strike go here we go and open that up and now it should be right here here it is so let's say that i want r to use uh last weapon and i'll drag that over here boom so now when you press easy shift and you press r it'll use the last weapon now you can always set keys with your own macro so for example uh you can go to my macros and right now i only have running if i go to macro manager here I can go to my macros and add a new macro. You can start recording. You can do, you know, I don't know. You press a whole bunch of keys, stop recording, and I'll name this uh, test two like that. And I'll go to okay. And up here I have under my macros, test two. And I want that to work with the letter Q. I'll drag test two down to the easy shift function here. And I'll click apply. Once I do that, this Q is now bound to whatever test two is. So that's how you can change uh, the different functions for Easy Shift. Whenever you want to reset it, you can go to set default and it'll reset it back to whatever it was before. And I'll apply and there we have it. Easy Shift for the mouse is a little bit different. So here we have the Comb Pro Gaming Mouse. Now to set Easy Shift for that, you start out with the basic preset. There is no, nothing set for Easy Shift. Uh, but you can click on that and to get started you can go to balanced and basically they set easy shift as button number seven which is this guy right here so this button if i hold it turns blue uh, everything on this right side will be enabled so button one is previous track button two is next track 
play and pause, volume up and volume down. I love this thing. So you basically have to click apply to make this preset work. And four and five is scroll wheel up and down. So if I hold down the easy shift and go up and down, you'll see that the volume changes. And you can always change what these buttons do too. So instead of previous track, let's say I wanna bind it to a game. So I go click on this, I wanna assign a macro and I wanna do CSGO, I'll do reload. And there we go. Easy shift one is reload for CSGO. And you have to remember to click on apply. So now when you play CSGO, you can always reload by holding easy shift and the left mouse button. So that's basically what easy shift technology does. It's a button that lets you use your keyboard and your mouse buttons for two functions and not just one.